Earlier tonight, we had a chance to see a couple of tough junior welterweights, David Taylor and Al Laddie, in a six-round bout. Third round action, David Taylor against Al Laddie. Taylor on the right, the colorful uh, trunks, red, white, and blue, and it is Laddie in all red with the white trim. Laddie out of Fayetteville, South Carolina, 22 years of age, a record of two and two. Taylor from Atlanta, Georgia, 25 years of age, a record of seven, three, and three. Taylor with no knockouts in his professional career. He's a junior welterweight. And we're talking at the end of the last round, take a look at the comparison of the arms and the size of the arms and the, the biceps of David Taylor. Very powerful, you might imagine, but no knockouts in his 13 professional fights. Well, I think he has to start learning leverage, but so far in about the six fights I have seen him, this is the best I've seen him look. The jab is honed, but this is a six-round bout, and we're only in round number three. And the beginning of that. It is Laddie Brandy who's getting a little more confident, not backing up as he had been in the first two rounds. Matter of fact, it's uh, the other way around here in round number three. It is Laddie on the offense, and as you see, David Taylor leaning against the ropes. Well, I think this is going to be the history, the boxing history of Al Laddie. He starts slow and starts chugging on, getting stronger and stronger as the fight wears on. He finished very strong in that Murray Frazier fight. The thing is, all those Frazier's were in great shape, and Murray Frazier also finished strong. A little stronger. Laddie just wants to come in and mix it up on the inside. Taylor doing the right thing when he backs up a little bit and starts sticking that jab like that. And as he's moving, he pulls away, and Laddie misses his shots. This is where Laddie wants to keep Taylor on the ropes. Taylor knows it, and he moves away to the center of the ring. It has been a good pace for three rounds. It is scheduled for six. Fighting styles have changed through the course of the three rounds. Taylor had been looking for the opening and then would hit with a flurry. But now more defensive in the third, although opening up in the closing seconds of round three. For our local cable systems, let's pause now for these words. I'm Carolyn of Carolyn Stout Fashions. Because I wear the same styles that I offer in Carolyn Stout Fashion, I make sure these clothes are well made, the latest styles, and priced right. I schedule new things to arrive daily. I like new things. At Carolyn Stout Fashions, you'll find clothes personally selected for you, a friendly sales staff, and Carolyn's always has a sales rack. If your clothes are not becoming to you, you should be coming to Carolyn Stout Fashions. At most auto repair places, when you take your car in for a repair, they make you sign a work order before any work starts. Sign here. Sign? Huh? It's kind of like signing a blank check. Sign. At Blank Check, you don't sign anything until all work is done to your satisfaction. Sign. Why put up with high-pressure tactics? At Blank Check, we fix only what needs fixing. You never buy more than you need. Sign. At Blank Check, doing it right makes the difference. Junior Welloways, Al Laddie in the red trunks and David Taylor in the red, white, and blue. <laughs> and we've had several different fights uh, in three rounds so far, Randy. We'll see what happens here in the fourth. But scheduled for six. <laughs> and Al Laddie continues to come on. It was Taylor who was in control of the first two rounds, but Laddie getting stronger and stronger the last two. Now Laddie.
guy's most effective work has been when he bangs the body with those hooks. He gets underneath the right elbow of David Taylor and just hammers away at the ribs. Have we seen the best of David Taylor? I think we have. We're not going to see any flashes of brutal power or blinding hand speed. You'll just see a real workmanlike job from the man. by David Taylor, pulling out, faster hands, quicker hands, the fast jab, Laddie just standing there, posing, he's got to let go. That's where Laddie has to be, Taylor, he has to be on the outside. time with David Taylor. 50 seconds left in the fourth round. And look, when David Taylor is not throwing the punches, so many times we talk about a guy throwing punches and dropping the punch down by his waist. Not David Taylor. He throws the punch and it comes right back up to his chin again. gets in by Laddie. One on one with OJ Simpson, wrestling's Hulk Hogan and superstar Walter Payton, this week on Stroh's Circle of Sports. Sunday. Another Friday night. Saved by the Bell. Undefeated James McGurk, 17 of his 19 victories by knockout. Ralph Twining, 24 of his 28 victories by knockout. An explosive junior welterweight collision heading the card on Friday Night Boxing. Next week at 9 Eastern, right after TNT here on USA. USA's Hollywood Insider covers all of entertainment's inside stories. On our next show, John Forsyth takes you back to the beginnings of television's dynasty. Pop star Kenny Loggins reveals why he gets nervous doing those rock videos. And exercise with football's Bubba Smith and beautiful Jane Kennedy. Find out what their home videos are really like. All this and much more on the next Hollywood Insider. At 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on USA, tomorrow. As David Taylor run out of gas after a quick start in the first two rounds. Taylor in the red, white, and blue. Al Laddy in the red trunks. It is only the fifth professional fight for the 22-year-old Laddy. And here is David Taylor coming on and answering our question. He nails Laddy with the right, chasing Laddy from corner to corner. Now it is Laddy trying to fight back, but Taylor continues to stay on him. It was the one big right hand which really hurt Laddie. There is no standing eight count here. But Jim Corb, nevertheless, counting the eight. Oh, okay, so what has happened then? In Georgia, there is no standing eight count if both parties don't agree to it, but apparently both guys before the fight said, okay, let's go for the standing eight. Because I know in most of the fights tonight, there are no standing eight counts. I don't like that rule. I think in a state there should be or shouldn't be. Well, Al Laddie gets the benefit right there. It is scheduled for six rounds. This is the fifth. Taylor coming out like a tornado here in the fifth. Just as we were questioning whether he had run out of gas. And we'll see perhaps if he shot it all right there. And Al Laddie able to weather that storm. Did not know he was in what he was in for as he came out for that fifth round. Nearly went as David Taylor chased him along the ropes from one corner to the other. Oh, oh. 
body has never been off his feet as a professional and he was down and figures only about twice in somewhere around 100 amateur fights. Taylor had a 21 and 2 amateur record. He's now 7, 3 and 3 as a professional. Three draws in 13 fights uh, say anything about a fighter? Not really. I think uh, it could show that perhaps those are fights he should have lost or he even could have won. Look at Mike Weaver. The man, I think, in his first five fights lost three of his first five. Maybe he went into the guy's backyard and fought those draws. And so this fight has turned around once again. First two rounds, Taylor dominating. Al Laddie coming around in the next two rounds, taking the offensive. And David Taylor bursting out of his corner here for round number five. Final 15 seconds of this fifth round. And we'll be going to a sixth and final round of these junior wellaways, David Taylor and Al Laddie. About the 501 Blues It's a personal gene That is specially for you When you walk that walk You tell the world you're the greatest Man, these blue jeans just can't lose I've got to get the blues on my body Leave on but I blue So blue, so blue, so blue The 501 Blues you know, when I started dipping Kodiak, made my friend here real happy because it's his brand. Now it's my brand, too. Good and moist with a special cut that packs right, and it's got a big, fresh, wintergreen flavor. But <laughs> don't take my word for it. Just ask my friend here. <laughs> he really got away with words, don't he? <laughs> and final round. David Taylor in the red, white, and blue. Al Laddie in the red. Randy, what's your scorecard say? Well, Al Laddie has to go for it. He's got to get the knockout. I've got him trailing four rounds to one. Laddie's problem is that he just puts one punch at a time out there. Left, hesitates, and he goes right. He's got to move the hand. Combination. Like Taylor. Taylor certainly, in contrast, has shown us the combinations tonight. Coming out in a burst, exploding out for the fifth round. At that point, we were questioning how much gas he had remaining. Now the question if that was it. And if it was, he knows he can coast here in the sixth round if he agrees with the scorecard of Randy Gordon. I really think Al Lati has shown the effects of that war only eight days ago with Murray Fraser in Atlantic City. Because normally he gets stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. And now he doesn't appear to have too much snap at all in his punches. Well, after that fight in the first five rounds, you would have to consider fairly punishing for a fighter here. Taking some shots and combinations from David Taylor. It has not been a, an easy fight for Al Lati, who right now has to climb uphill and running to the Scorecard of Randy Gordon must register a KO to win this fight. Two right hands have Laddie in trouble. And David Taylor pursuing. He knows his opponent is in trouble. Taylor is going for his first knockout as a pro. The uppercut snaps the head back of Laddie. And now it is Taylor who has Laddie up against the ropes. Referee Jim Corb watching very closely. Laddie got the standing eight count in the fifth round. Inside the last minute of this fight. David Taylor looking sharp here tonight. A record of seven, three, and three coming in while Laddie is even at two and two.
final 30 seconds. I think after this fight, Alwani should sit down and take perhaps six weeks and just do nothing more than an occasional mile or two of road work. Then get back into the gym. He needs a rest. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Alwani has certainly put in uh, enough rounds in the last week. And there is the bell to end this fight. And a nice hand from the crowd here at the Omni. As the two fighters hug one another, they go the distance. For David Taylor, that is the distance for the 14th time in 14 fights. And a very tired, weary young man, 22-year-old Al Laddie, out of Fayetteville, South Carolina. Just eight days ago, he went six tough rounds with Murray Frazier. And now, another six tough ones with Atlanta's David Taylor. So Laddie, who started the week with a record of 2-1, and one, now could slip under the 500 mark at 2-3 and three if he does not get the decision, which is likely here. Let's take a look at some uh, earlier action. Well, Al Laddie was so tired in that final round, it hurt him just to try to get underneath shots. David Taylor brings this one up, a right uppercut. Oh, what a beautiful picture. Perfect punch it was. Caught Laddie on the chin, lifted his head up, and he came back with yet another right hand. How Laddie stayed on his feet is beyond me. So Walker, who started strong, Randy, the first two rounds, and then came on in the fifth, almost had Laddie out then. And that punch you just saw happen in the sixth round. David Walker goes the distance once again as the judges now tabulating the totals. And once again, David Taylor does not get a knockout, so he still is looking for his first professional knockout in now 14 fights. And there is David Taylor, a homebred hero here. Freddie certainly puts the combinations together as well as uh, many that you have uh, seen. And you wonder why the knockout uh, total is not up. Leverage. He's got to work on his leverage a lot of times when he's bouncing around. He's throwing those quick combinations. A lot of times he's doing them with his feet off the canvas or up on his toes. He's got to come down off his toes and get that leverage. All right, we are ready with the decision, so let's go to ring announcer Joe Walker. somewhat hesitant thought perhaps Joe Walker was going to say for the man in the red trunks I thought you know? for a second he was going to say that and I said no way all it was for Al Lotti was a very game performance another one and David Taylor the victory he is now eight three and three